The opening two rounds of, uh, of the British Touring Car Championship have been incredibly tough for me, uh, I'll be very honest. Um, it's been quite difficult in terms of the amount of track time that's been dry to understand the car, even in pre-season testing. And so we've been quite limited in that area. And then we've been kind of dogged down with weather, which has been uh, you know, inconsistent to say uh, the least. But I've had a huge amount of fun. Um, I'm getting the hang of it, but slowly, not as fast as what I'd like. So, I mean, everyone asks what the difference is between F1 and the British Touring Car Paddock, and uh, yeah, there's a huge amount of difference in many respects, but I have to say probably the friendliness here is a lot more than what it ever was in F1. Um, you're dealing with budgets that are significantly bigger in Formula One, $400 million, you know, for running a Formula One team, and uh, a lot, lot less to do something here. Not that that makes a difference, I think it just makes a little bit of difference in the amount of business pressure that's there with big manufacturers and everybody's got their head down. British Touring Car Paddock, there seems to be a lot more people that have got you know, a few minutes to say hello and uh, talk about things in general. Um, some of those topics might be motorsport related, some of them might not. But yeah, in, in, uh, across the board I'd say that you know, this is a really happy paddock and uh, most of the time it's all smiles. So coming to Fruxton um, with objectives, obviously, uh, that is to score some points. But I think at the end of the day, you know, we're still learning and that's going to probably carry on for quite some time in this season. But Fruxton circuit, I think the last time I ever raced here was 1986 in a Formula 4 2000 car. So is it familiar? Not really. I think I've <laughs> forgotten it. Um, does it entice you as a driver? Yes, yeah, quite challenging. Does it give you a little bit to look forward to in terms of close racing? It always does at Fruxton. And you know, I don't think you'll see cars in uh, such close proximity than most circuits like Fruxton. So yeah, it, it's, it's gonna be an exciting one.